So the next icon in the toolbar of the Fibber Trader, next to the tools, are the data management commands. So what I want to do is go through those now and show what data sources we actually have available and what the options for data manipulation are here. So when we go to the data sources, we see the list of all the data vendors which are currently supported and which can be activated. This list depends on your license as well. So if you don't have a license, you only see the, the free version here. So there are no additional entries. And if you have a license and also if you have IB, then you see all of those data vendors in here. Since we are on a trial mode, we see everything and there are no limitations. The first thing we have is Interactive Brokers. When we click on it, we can see we have the preferences available. So we can define where's our TWS IP. So it's the local installed instance. We have the port, which is uh, the default port. And then we have um, some options. We can synchronize automatically our clock. We can um, load historical data from the TWS and we can show regular trading hours only, which is a good, good option because there will also be cre ticks created overnight. And um, we can, for now, uh, click OK. So what it says now is it could not connect to any local trader workstation should the program try to continue. And we say uh, yes. And first of all, we need to know we need to start the trader workstation. So what I did is I installed the latest version uh, shortly before. I just downloaded it from the internet, installed the Windows version. And now let me start it. And uh, you will see it will uh, start quite quickly. We log in with the, the demo account, e-demo and demo user. OK. It will load. And when it finished loading, we will see that uh, we have to check one setting in there. And uh, the setting is concerned with allowing external applications like the Fibber Trader to access data from the Trader Workstation. So um, there's some messages which we ignore for now. And there is a preference section. It moves from time to time since there are changes in the, uh, in the program. But here's an API section in the preferences. And then you can have uh, settings. And there's this flag here, which is called Enable ActiveX and Socket Clients. And there needs to be a check mark. Otherwise, the Fibber Trader cannot connect to this application. And here you also see the port. So it's the same port. We click OK. And we actually minimize it because we uh, don't need to see it. And we want to now reconnect. And let's see what happens. Um, let's execute a search. Since we activated two data sources right now, we have activated, let's take a look, Interactive Brokers and Internet Delayed, which is the local database. We switch into multi data vendor mode right now. This will display some additional uh, selection boxes. So first, uh, the first one will appear in the search dialog. We can select the data source which you want to search. So currently it's a local database. We switch to Interactive Brokers. There will be automatically a connection request to Interactive Brokers, which we have to accept. This is the warning from the Trader Workstation. We say yes. And now we're up and running. Um, we can select what type we want to uh, search. We want to select, we can select the exchange, which is coming directly from the Interactive Brokers system. And let's say we want to check for Triple M. Start searching, this little search icon and it will connect to the Trader Workstation and get all the stocks. And what is happening is we will get Triple M for all the exchanges. When we scroll down, you see there's Triple M from uh, the NICE. That's quite OK. So we select this one, double click, and we get our chart. And now there's one specialty in the, the Trader Workstation because um, the have a hard limit here how many requests you can make in the API. So if you want to load data, then you have to load it in increments and packages over a given period of time. So you cannot load everything at once. This is why you get this strange message from time to time. It might disappear in the future, but currently this is a workaround. So don't be uh, too much worried about it. 
Um, it will simply uh, mean you have to wait a while for your uh, data, but once it's loaded, it will be loaded very fast. So let's switch to a five minute interval for two days and uh, now the system will load the data and here you can already see it. We have loaded uh, two days, we just have to wait until this uh, waiting period is over and um, the data is coming directly from the Trader workstation now. It will uh, be refreshed automatically via push so we don't need to do anything. The data will be updated automatically and uh, there we are. Now we have, we see the age and we see that it's updating over here. Since this is a demo account, I think this is a uh, fake data, so it's not the real one, but in our example it doesn't matter. Um, we see the vertical dividers for the days, so this is yesterday and this is today. And um, we can simply continue with our analysis um, as we want to. So now we are in real-time push mode. Data is coming in. Um, simple as that. So what we have down here is an example of some catalogs. So the catalogs are also divided now by data vendors. So we have the local database, which are the catalogs we had loaded before. And now there are also some catalogs available for interactive brokers. But basically, you have to use the search and simply search for your uh, symbols here, entering the search phrase or the exact symbol. Then you can save your symbols into a folder. So you don't have to you don't have to search them all the time. So let's say I get rid of my portfolio of the content and I use it for interactive progress data. Um, so I take triple M, perform action, and I can either copy it to the clipboard or copy it to the folder. And I will copy it to my portfolio. Okay. And there it is down here. So for the future, I can simply double click on this one and have the data loaded inside of the system. One interesting fact to know is it will load the data day by day. So this day is now coming from a locally cached version. So it's not requested from the Trader Workstation anymore for speed increase. And only this data is incrementally updated. So this is very quick and uh, doesn't consume a lot of resources.